how you doing today guys uh, today I am going to be doing a repair job my first repair job on a Myers uh, E60H plow motor um, storm just came through uh, a couple days ago yesterday day before yesterday go out and get in the truck go to lift the plow up lifts up slowly I drop it back down, lift it up again, it stopped moving halfway up and didn't move anymore. But I could tell that something was going on with the motor. So uh, through a little research, I found out that the Myers, uh, this particular series of motors uh, off of the uh, E60, which is the motor that sits sideways off of the plow, not the one that sits vertical, but the one that sits sideways, has a couple of problems. One being this area in here that rain and different you know water and things like that can get down in between there uh, which causes condensation in the back portion of the cat where the brushes are and uh, those brushes touch against the armature uh, to provide the electricity from the battery post to spin the motor within the, the housing uh, and you have a magnetic field in there that it spins in you have a one-way bearing in the back of there and then you have a little uh, ring that presses on the back of that bearing to keep it raised a little bit for it to spin easier. On the uh, front side uh, where this connects up there is actually a back plate that goes on here but it's still on my truck. I don't need to take that off right now. Um, I don't think I'm going to need to take it off at all. But You just um, uh, put this ring back on there before you put it back on. So this is the center part that has the uh, armature head on it and you can see here that uh, the bearing is on there and as I said this little ring sits on the back of the bearing down in the housing uh, to prevent uh, any friction uh, from uh, gathering uh, on that head as it spins so this looks pretty good you know, no problem with that uh, pretty good we're going to clean this up before we utilize it again uh, the top portion of the armature we can see down in there that you have the magnet um, that creates the electromagnetic field or the field of flux. Um, we're going to turn it over here and I'm going to move the top. And just decided to do this video just in case somebody else had a similar problem and uh, wanted to try to fix it themselves instead of uh, you know paying a hundred, hundred and twenty some odd dollars for a new motor. Uh, these parts uh, are the brushes and they are spring loaded as you can see that one springs back uh, but just about all of the rest of them are done they just move and, and fall you know they don't they don't provide any uh, resistance uh, to press up against the armature and of course I've been inside of here these uh, have been partially removed I decided to do the video but basically they just slide in to these slots like so and they press up against the uh, armature in the middle so there will be four of them two on each side so what we're going to do is we're going to take these apart and you can see those there we're going to take these apart and I've gone and found new parts uh, there's all the part numbers there from Lasco uh, for the Meyer part number 15854 and these parts were fifty-five dollars, uh, and I was kind of lucky because the place I found them, uh, the guy had them on the shelf, hadn't gotten rid of them, so he let me get them for thirty-five bucks, Randy at Lasco, great deal. So there you have it. These are the arms, the uh, the brushes. I'm gonna open those up. I'll pour those out there, and as you can see, they've provided me with four brushes and four screws uh, in this situation all of the screws are the same size I was told that uh, they may be a different size and to watch out for that but in this event they are the same size now what we're going to do is I'm going to hit this with a little bit of cleaner Just a little bit of electrical contact cleaner, something that dries fast, 
Uh, you don't want to spray any WD-40 or anything like that in there. Okay. So we've got that. Now we're going to take the brushes off. I have a little towel here uh, to, to dry things off. We're also going to wire brush that around the uh, edges of that. And basically one at a time, we're going to replace the brushes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, I'm going to come back and show you when I'm done. Alrighty. Alright. So we got our new brushes installed. Take a look at those. Looking very good. Springs back very nicely. Now you may have to remove a couple and they just pop right up. Possibly to take them out of the way to get the armature back up through the motor. I'm going to turn this upside down like it is now. We're going to do that uh, in a hot second here. Uh, you can take a look at these. Uh, this one probably was the only one that actually still springs back. Uh, we can look at some of the other ones and you can see how compressed and corroded those springs are so that is definitely not going to spring back comes open just stays open uh, and the rest are the same way screws were pretty rusty they gave me new screws in the uh, in the uh, replacement kit so I've installed those also you see those in there and you want to make sure that this does not touch this so you you want to twist that to the side like that you know so it's out of the way and, and still gives it room to to spring back so that's good uh, now what we're going to do uh, we're almost ready to put it back in I'm going to take some low grade sandpaper and I'm going to clean the end of this armature off a little bit black uh, not destroyed you know got a lot of life left in it so basically I'm just going to run that sandpaper over it a few times like that and try to get it back a nice shiny brass color to make our contact as good as possible. Go over that a little more. pretty good. Now it's back brass. We're in good shape. So now we're going to put the motor back inside and as I said this clip needs to go to the back. So we're going to put that on the top once we get it through the hole. And basically to get it through the hole I'm just going to sit it down here. I'm going to put it over the top and let it come down. As I said you may have to remove one or so. We're going to remove two here. I'm going to try to get the armature to move back. Now I'm going to remove this one over here. And it just pops straight up, so you know there's no need to. Uh, to worry about messing the thing up, you know, just a small slide for it, and it pops straight up. Uh, I'm gonna get this. And I'm gonna open up these two on the sides. Okay. Like I said, we're gonna take a little bit of grease. Uh, this is bearing grease. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the high ends. Of uh, this little bearing here, or this little washer type deal, and uh, that's going to give me a little bit of um, a little bit of something to stick, make it stick to the back. Um, because I'm noticing that when I put it in with the, uh, and we're just going to put a little bit like that. And I notice when I put it in with the uh, on top of the bearing that 
possibly um, it, it's it's getting kind of stuck, you know. So I don't want to push it in there and break it or anything like that. So I'm just gonna put that little bit of uh, that little bit of grease on it to help me keep it in the back, and then we're gonna push this baby right down on there, trying to line up those holes. And that bearing is going to slide all the way into the back. Okay. So there we are. Alrighty. I'm going to slide that to the side. Put your hand up under it. And we're going to turn it over. So we're looking good. That spins in there freely. And we're good. Okay. I'm going to give it a jiggle. Make sure that pin didn't move. Which pretty much I'm sure it didn't. And uh, that should be it. Uh, we're pretty much ready to reinstall it into the uh, portion of the truck that has the other uh, adapter piece that it's going to slide in. So let's go and uh, attach this baby to the truck. All right. Okay, this is the other side of the uh, the 60 uh, E60 H Meyer plow hookup uh, on the front of my Ford F250 four wheel drive. Uh, affectionately referred to as Big, Big Blue. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean off the contact area here where it's going to make contact with the other part. Just uh, wire brush it a little bit, you know, get the surface area clean so it makes a, a good connection. And that little O-ring is going to go back on there. Okay. Okay. We got uh, the motor back on, and uh, basically, because I couldn't get the bottom part out, uh, which I'll have to get that out eventually. Um, this right here has seized on there, so I had to pay, spray some PB blast or something like that up in there, uh, and try to bag it out of there at a later date. But right now, hopefully, um, our brush uh, replacement has uh, put ours back in action. So we're going to lift this up and I just attached it from the top. I'm going to put our, our screw back in there. I'm going to run across the length like that. And I got one nut here that goes on the other side of that. Basically, you're just going to throw it on there for a second to hold us, to hold us in. Um, then all we got to do is hook up our positive, which positive goes to the front, negative goes to the back, and then the um, connectors, which I've just knocked loose when I pulled it down here. Those connectors for the uh, the rams over on the other side will be connected up. Uh, so. We're gonna get out of shot and see if we can get this baby to, to pick up. We got our plow sitting right here on the ground uh, where I left it you know, when it wouldn't go back up. So let's see what we're gonna do here and uh, we'll get back to you in a couple of seconds. We can see that the plow did, the, the pump did lift. So we're looking pretty good with that. Gonna let it back down. Push the rest of the way down. And uh, I believe we 
should be able to, to hook the rest of the plow up. Let's do that and then uh, we'll come back. Turn the lights down, I'm in my zone. Thank God for granting me this moment of clarity, this moment of honesty. The world will fill my trust. Hard knock lifetime, I give for the curse. I gave you volume after volume.